Hi there guys, it's Robert, an ambassador for Christ. And as you know where I go, the kingdom goes. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and thanks for your comments and your, and your encouragement. It really helps. Um, oh yeah, and as usual, as you know, you know, eat the fish, spit out the bone. Some things you may agree with, some things you may not. So I'm going to speak to you today with my lighting box. That's right, look at it, I've got a lot, you can't see, but I've got a lighting box right behind the, the, the camera and I'm like, well happy, it got donated to the ministry. I've got so much different pieces of equipment that was donated to, 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 to the ministry that God's given to me. It's powerful and I can use it, I'm well happy. Anyway, because it's night time, it's not night outside. Anyway, I'm gonna to talk to you about how I saw the place that God has prepared for you in heaven. I saw the place that God has prepared for you in heaven. Now, what I'm going to about to share with you, okay, is top secret, it's powerful, it's amazing, and you've never ever seen it this way before because it's always been taught incorrectly. So, let's get into this. Your mind is about to be blown into smithereens, mate. Right, if you go to John chapter 14, John chapter 14, verse 2, powerful scripture. Are you ready for it? Probably well-known scripture. It says, in my father's house... There are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go, to, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, you may be there also. Woo! This is powerful. Now we've read this scripture here, and this is what you're thinking in your head, isn't it? You're thinking that God is saying, so Jesus said there's many, my, in my father's house there's many mansions, right? You're thinking, oh, it's a palace. And God and I go to prepare a place for you. And you're thinking, yeah, I've got a palace and I've got a mansion in heaven. I'm going to heaven. Mansion, yeah. Incorrect. Wrong. <laughs> you fail. <laughs> Whoever taught you that way, they failed. Let's break it down and go in deep. Are you ready? He says here that in my father's house there's many mansions. Okay. If it was not so, I would have told you. Full stop. Then he says, I'll go and prepare a place for you. He didn't say you'll prepare a mansion for you. He said that in my father's house, there's many, many mansions. Then he said, I go to prepare, prepare a place for you. So there's, a, God, there's many mansions in heaven and I'm going to prepare a place over there for you. He didn't say he'll give you a mansion. He just said he's going to prepare a place. And then he said that, so, this is powerful. And if I go, and just then said in verse three, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, you may be there also. Now, Boop. Here we go again with another crazy teaching. You'll probably think to yourself, oh, well, that's like a second coming, isn't it? Jesus comes in his second coming and he receives me unto himself and then we go to heaven and go into the mansion. Yay! Fail. <laughs> Incorrect. All wrong. Let's get that doctrine out the window. <laughs> All right, let's start fresh with new, fresh eyes and revelation and understanding. Now, he said that I go to prepare a place for you, right? I go to prepare a place for you. Now we know what that place is. Because my phone who's actually died had the Bible on it. <laughs> I had all these different scriptures on it just to tell you, but it doesn't matter, I could tell it's the top of my head. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is seated in heavenly places, right? It says that he is seated on the right hand of God. The right hand of God, it doesn't mean that he, God's here and Jesus is sitting on the right hand of God, no. In the Bible, the right hand means the right hand of power, like Benjamin. What did Benjamin mean? The son of my right hand. So when he speaks about the right hand, it means the right hand of power. So Jesus is sitting in the power, the right hand of power of God. So Jesus is the power of God. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Jesus is all these things. It says that he is seated far above all principalities and power and might and dominion. He's seated far above all of that. Check this out. <laughs> Are you ready? The Bible says, the Apostle Paul says that we are in Christ. It says that we are in Christ and Christ is seated in heavenly places, meaning that we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. That's what the Apostle Paul said. That's where the church sits, in heavenly places, far above all principalities, might and power. Now, God said that I, I will go and prepare a place for you that where I am, you shall be also. So when he died on the cross, he prepared that way. He prepared that place. He opened that door because he died on the cross. The new, the new covenant was, was, was created or, or was birthed. And there's a new covenant that we are in. That was the door opener. God opened the door. Jesus Christ's death opened the door, right? Because check this out. Peter, uh, Thomas in verse five 
he sorry in verse four uh in verse four it says and whither i go ye know and the way you know and thomas said unto him lord we we know not where where thou goest and how can we know the way so peter said god said jesus christ said you know where the place is you know how to get there and then thomas said we don't know how to do it how do we get there and jesus christ says powerful scripture he says and jesus said unto him i am the way the truth and the life and no man come off to the father but by me so to get into that place that god has prepared that jesus christ has prepared for us yeah you have to go through christ to get into that place now when jesus christ died he went into heaven that's what he says in the, in the book of acts you see and being of acts he, a cloud went around him and he went up into heaven prepared the place the 120 was inside the um the, the upper room right and then the holy spirit came down and filled the believers and it all spoke with tongues and was all filled with fire okay that's when god received us back to himself the church was born Woo! and where's the church seated in heavenly places in christ jesus far above everything so what am i trying to say your place where god has seated you is in heavenly places far above all demonic activity far because when it talks about principality power and might that's angelic ranks okay there's there's seven angelic ranks but that's a couple of them i might do another video and cover another video so it's angelic ranks so we're we're seated far above all angelic ranks okay and above all thrones and all the rest of it in christ jesus so what am i trying to say what you need to do we need to look at life like we're in heaven looking down See, we're always we're, we're on the earth realm right now, right? and we're always looking at looking at things like, oh, this is wrong and that's going on. No, God is saying that we need to get in the spirit, get in praise, get in worship, pray in the Holy Spirit, pray in tongues, get into the heavenlies, and then look down on the earth from the heavenly position of a throne. Look down, right? Let's start dictating. See what you don't understand. See, I'm gonna do another video, right? But. Us as Christians, as sons of God, we don't understand how the heavens work. We have not got a clue on how the heavens work. So I'm going to cover that in another video, all right? Because it's going to be very, very powerful. Because once we know how the heavens work, then we're going to go on a different level. So anyway, that's where your place is. I saw your place in heavenly places. I saw it, okay? And it's, far, it's in Christ Jesus, far above all principalities, power and might. You're a king. You're a queen. We are, we are for creative people and the rest of it. It's Robert, an ambassador for Christ. And as you know where I go to kill guys, remember, like, subscribe, share, and I shall see you guys on the next video. Stay blessed. Oh, yeah, Snapchat. No, not Snapchat. Yes, I'm on Snapchat, but I'm also on uh, WhatsApp if you want to send me a message. I've done some prayers for some people already. I'm going to start getting overwhelmed with all this. <laughs> Stay blessed.